Welcome back, friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming, and we are playing Football Manager 2019 with Kaiser Slaucher and De Reuten Teufel. Fritz Walter Stadium on top of the Betzenberg. And, well, I mean, the board thinks we're doing okay. I am less confident. Um, they think our finances are great. Less confident. They think our philosophies are great. I'm good with that. And they think our competitions are fine. Um, maybe. Um, we currently find ourselves in third place, which is in, uh, you know, the playoff to get promoted. So not automatic promotion, but a playoff to go up back to Bundesliga, which is where we would like to be. I am not terribly confident in our ability to get there. Um, we do have a pretty decent goal differential. So if we could tie Bochum in three, we're going to leap, leap past them. They did win their game today or yesterday, I guess, as the case may be. Um, which puts them four points up on us. So even if we win today, we're still going to be a point back. Uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf, I don't, I mean, they're only one win up um, on Bochum at the moment, but they haven't played today either. So they might be two wins up on both of us, depending on how things go today, and as much as three wins up on us. We shall see. Today we've got Eintracht Braunschweig, who it seems to me we normally lose to... Yeah, yeah, we've got two draws, two losses, and one win against. They, they're they kind of a bogeyman for us in this one. Um, luckily, they just had a big injury. Diego Contento, their left fullback, I want to say, just got injured um, just, like, today. Uh, so he's out. Danny Menig, unfortunately, is out with us, and Nicholas Schmidt has the flu. So if we take a look at our squad at the moment... Ah, hold on. Let's take a look at transfers. Transfer window just slammed shut a couple days ago. Um, we've got some interesting stuff going on. So uh, first of all, let's come down here. Um, we sold a player for seven, seven euros and a bag of chips. Um, wasn't that good. Don't care. He's gone. Uh, 42,000, potentially 80,000 for Lucas Brita. Again, um, a useful player, but nothing spectacular. Um, he's got no potential to be a starter, and I would say very, very on the edge, the lower edge of what we might want even for a backup. Um, so I was fine to let him go. We loaned out a couple players, um, Danny Klein and Fusen Fuseni Conte, um, both sent them out on loan. And unfortunately, Jonas Meffert had hid, um, he had a $250,000 um, relegation release clause, or 250,000 euro. We got relegated, they made the price, they made an offer early. Um, I tried to boost it up a little bit, and they just said heck with it and gave us a non-negotiable 250,000 straight cash. And out the door he went. Uh, I had a sneaking suspicion he was going to be sold. Um, it didn't happen until the final day. It is what it is. Uh, players in. Uh, I've brought in Gaetan Poussin um, from S.O. Cholet, and he's very good. He's our new goalkeeper. Paid 550000 for him. And Ariel's not quite as good as Mueller, but he's got good first touch. His communication is good. His handling is good. So with that first touch and handling being well, I'm really hoping we'll do okay. His his uh, one-on-ones are a little bit worse. I think Mueller's a 17, so we dropped down to 14. But he can pass. He can actually pass the ball. Um, his rushing out's not as good otherwise, and he's not as quick. But I think overall, he'll be okay. You can see he's, he's going to get maybe a little bit better. Uh, he's 24 years old. Goalkeepers play easily into their mid-30s. Uh, or at least early 30s, depending on the goalkeeper. Uh, his natural fitness is 17, so probably mid-30s. So yeah, we might come close to maxing that out. Um, current ability of 131 right now, so which is pretty similar to what we had with uh, with Mueller as well. It's just a slightly different balance, and Mueller's 28. So uh, I still don't know that this is the goalkeeper, our starting goalkeeper of the future. That's going to depend on what we can find once we get up to Bundesliga. Probably not, but I would say he could be with the team for a very long time as a very, very good backup starter today, um, potentially a backup going forward in the Bundesliga, um, but somebody that we could hang on to for kind of forever if we really wanted to. So pretty happy with him, uh, which meant I've been trying to sell Mueller. Uh, he's not happy about it, but he's on huge wages. Um, and I was more trying to get rid of the wages than I was to um, make the transfer, but I wasn't going to sell him for nothing either. So um, so we've still got him. He also had a relegation release clause, but only to teams in the upper division. Uh, and I want to say it was $1.2 million, um, which is essentially his worth, I think. Um, but anyway, maybe, maybe it was $2 million for that. But regardless, 
uh, we were unable to get that. So we, we've still got him on the team at the moment. Um, we brought in Yasin Aldi right here from PSG. And uh, we brought him in as a, first of all, if you look at the price, we paid 160,000 euros for him. That's it, 160. Only one player on here we pay less for, right? And, whoops, we went the wrong direction. Um, look at the potential, 164. So 120 now, 164 going forward, you know, for potential. He's 22 years old, uh, so we're probably not gonna see 164, but could we see 140? Oh, I think so, yeah, I mean, definitely. And he's very good now. Um, so we're gonna try him probably as an attacking midfielder initially. Uh, we might drop him back to here. Uh, there's no reason why, you know, he's he's more comfortable here than he is here, but um, I've got more players that can play here. So we'll see how it goes. We will give it a go with that. And then we also have one more player coming in at the end of the, well, beginning of the next year. Again, a youngster that has good potential um, that we got relatively cheap. Um, Rodrigo Paredes here. We are paying 700,000, a little bit more than we paid. A very good young defensive center back because we are going to lose, um, we've got a lone E starter right now. Um, and so he's gonna be gone at the end of the year. So we're gonna need somebody for next year. He's already got 14, 15, 16 down here for these important ones with a 14 pos uh, possession, or positioning, excuse me. Uh, composure needs some work. Um, concentration needs some work, but otherwise decent decisions. He's determined, um, a little bit aggressive. Uh, and great natural fitness. So I'd like to see the strength and stuff come up as well, but he's 17 years old. And again, he's got a potential of 151 and he's already at 101. So uh, he could hit that 151. We'll just have to see. So I think he is gonna be a starting defensive center for us next season. We will see how it goes. Um, I guess we've already signed him, but we could keep scouting him if we wanted. Uh, anyway, um, he's not gonna be here till June 1st. So. Uh, a future one, but I'm pretty happy with that. Leon Claussen has agreed to an out-of-contract uh, uh, deal um, with Paderborn, so he will be leaving us on 7 first. Um, Justin Gahn's got some offers. He rejected them all, so he's still with the team. And I think that kind of brings us up, so let's go ahead and look at tactics. Um, I have been trying this with the Tiki Tacky. Um, I also tried our this with... Um, both Tiki Tacky and Gagan Press, and Gagan Press did absolutely nothing. Um, Tiki Tacky wasn't that great either. Tiki Taka, excuse me. So now we're gonna try vertical Tiki Taka for this one. Um, slightly less, I mean, this one is much shorter passing. Um, this one is shorter passing. So we'll see if there's a difference, but it wouldn't, it wasn't out of the question for us to take a throw, uh, a corner kick and then just pass the ball all the way back. We didn't even try to move forward. Um, so I've made our striker to an attacking role rather than a supporting role. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, you see we've got Adi in, we've got Otero in here. He's done absolutely nothing. We've got Ritz, Tribal, and Ogden in. Now that Meaford's gone, we've made Ogden the captain because he's got really good leadership skills. Um, leadership of 14, teamwork of 17. So we'll see. He's only 20 years old, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, he's not probably long-term going to be a starter for us, especially if we go up, but... Again, he could be a backup for a while. Not huge overall numbers, but they're important where they need to be. He's got decent passing, decent tackling, uh, good first touch, teamwork, work rate are all really good. So, uh, you know, he could be with his mentals are spectacular. So we'll see. Um, I think that's it. Um, we've gotten absolutely nothing out of Otero so far. Uh, you can see just a 6-7 essentially across the board. Um, no goals, three assists in 16 matches. So probably going to sell him at the end of the season. Uh, he didn't do anything on the right wing. He's not really doing much in the center. Uh, I'm not really sure what to think about him at the moment. Um, Nils Peterson, 636 across the board. Now that's has been playing as a, a shadow striker, um, but he should be good at a shadow striker. You know, I, I mean, the numbers are there. He's got great finishing. His long shots is okay. Composure is okay. He's not terribly fast. I don't know. I, I'm not sure why he's just completely flatlined, you know? I mean, he's just not good, and his training's fallen off now, too. Now, he's got eight goals and five assists and 20. Um, you know, and you can see he's still, even with this last run of form, he's still almost a seven for the season. Um, 
but it's just dropped off. So um, we'll use them as a sub for El Hajj. Um, we'll see how that goes. I talked about finances early. If we take a look, you can see our um, spending is up to 309,000 right now. Mefer took a chunk off of that out, so we're okay even with the two new players we signed at the moment. I'd like to save the extra 22,000 or so that Mueller's making. Um, that would be great. It would take us under 300,000, but all in all, we're doing okay. We still got 4.9 mil of our original 6.2 after sales and stuff. Um, projection still looks okay. Um, and if we look at our salaries here, you can see uh, Gene Zimmer is the top at 25,000, Mueller's second at 23, uh, and Nils Peterson at 22.5. So Nils isn't producing anything for us. Um, Mueller's been okay. Um, you can see this is even before we took him out was just okay. Um, Gene Zimmer's been great, so we're pretty happy with him. Uh, Tri Bill 6.91, eh, you know, he's been okay for the money, but I would say these two um, are, are a drain on us at the moment, and I'm not huge on Otaru, which is up here as well. So, is what it is. We could easily save ourselves almost 60,000 pounds per uh, euros per week um, if we cut some of the dead slack. So, we will just have to see how it goes. Uh, starting today, Pusin, Zimmer, Bialik. Heffley, Wooters, um, Octans, defensive midfielder, try ball, Ritz, Otero, Adi, is it Adli, do we think? Adli? Adli, there we go. I had to find a font big enough. Um, Adli, and then uh, Coley there. Uh, Coley's a great, look at that, 2,200, uh, which is awesome. And Becker's only making 750. We're going to have to give both of them raises at the end of the season. Um, but for the moment, I think we're okay. Uh, we've brought up uh, Shredan Skandari here to give us a little bit more depth on the bench if we need it since uh, uh, Mefford's gone. Um, 20 years old, pretty good player. Uh, I, th you know, maybe not quite ready. Again, never going to be spectacular for us, but um, he's going to do the job today uh, or for the rest of the season regardless. So let's go ahead and get into it. We've got Eintracht, like I said. Bochum's already won. And uh, yeah. We're going to try this vertical tiki taka and see if that puts the ball forward just a tiny bit more. We've been dominating possession. We've done really well with that. Um, we're just not... We forgot to look at the... Hold on. Can I go back? I can't go back. Forgot to look at the schedule. <laughs> I'll show you how we've done. We'll do that afterwards. Um, well, that that didn't help. Let's, let's try a little faith. See if we can get a little bit of green on the board here. Um... We'll be fine. I mean, I'm only playing one striker at this point, and he's the third one of those, so. So like I say, we've been, we've been getting good possession with this tactic, which is nice. We just have done no attempt at scoring. Um, for the most part, we've had a couple games Maybe one game where we scored a bunch of goals. I thought, yes, this is it. And then nothing. Because we've got great finishing. Uh, and and so the goal was just get some possession and get good shots on goal. But we're just not taking shots is how it turns out. Um, so. Uh, and none of my um, currently good uh, fullback wingers are capable do anything on the left side, even though supposedly they're both comfortable over there, both Zimmer and Arloni, whose name I can't remember off the top of my head right now, um, do anything when you put them to the left side. They, they, they're happy to play a 5-9, a 6. Well, they're probably not quite that bad. But they're just not doing anything. Zimmer's just getting beat up over there. Um, anyway, so we've been playing Wooters a lot um, just because why not, you know? Uh, he's not, he's, he's playing as good as them. And he's going to continue to get... Wow, those guys are just bringing it to us. He was... He had to have been off sides. Was he not? I can't believe they haven't had their entire team sent off for two-footed legends yet at the moment, but... He looked off... Let's see. He's on sides there. On sides. On sides. On... Yeah. Off. Well... Yeah, he, I guess he was, they're saying he was in line with the, the player. So that's probably true. Behind the ball. Um, I think we should have demand more because this is terrible. Um, we're not having possession. 
and we're and we're giving up goals, which isn't great either. So, um, at the moment, that still leaves us in third place. But I've got no real confidence that we would win a playoff at this point. Come on, somebody needs to get rid of that guy. He's killing us. How's he not got a yellow card yet? Zimmer back to uh, Pusin, Heffley, back to Pusin, up to Wooters. Wooters is probably going to get tackled here in a second, too. No, Firstner just took it away from him, but Wooters gets it back into Ritz. Ritz, back to Heffley. Okay, Ogden, back to Tribal, up to Adley. First time we've seen Adley, gets it out to Wooters. What does Wooters do? Takes a few dribbles and puts the shot on. Oh, just about sneaks it past. Holmes is going to push that out, I think, for a corner. Let's see if we can get something going on the set piece, because we have not looked great so far. Although we have had more shots on goal than them. Um, we just didn't do anything with it. And they scored. Very first uh, shot on goal with, with Pusin, he fumbled it and it rolled in for a goal. I was like, you're here for your handling and your first touch and all those things that are supposed to be better. And uh, he screwed it up. Out to Wooters. Wooters takes a touch. Ah, and again, their tackling out there on the wings is just spectacular. Feeds it back to home. We did put a little pressure on him. Peeper couldn't keep it up. Lua runs up to Nyman. Nyman runs through. Oh, Pusin, though, comes out one-on-one -on -one with the rush. A little bit aggressive there with the rollout, though. Um, possession's pretty equal. I would say they're edging us at the moment. Otero with the free kick in. It rolls! Is that a goal? Oh, they gave it to Ritz. I have no idea. It just looked like it fell to the ground and just kind of rolled around until it bounced off somebody in the middle, but we'll take it. Gives us a draw. We'll see the, the replay here. Otero. Back in. Yeah. I think it just bounced off Ritz as he lied there on the ground. But we'll take it. So that gets us up a little bit. At least we got one point coming out to it. We're still three points behind Bochum at this point. Um, and obviously, clearly, we can't beat them. Uh, Dusseldorf is not playing right now. So we're, we're not going to know. Um, that clearly didn't work. Um, we'll win this. I don't, I don't believe that. Um, I don't know, guys. Hmm. Let's try fluid counterattack, see what that does. We're defending narrower and lower, so I'm going to move these guys up a little bit. I don't know that that matters. Let's go for it. Has anybody been horrible? Tribal has been pretty bad. I mean, I guess we put Dessinger in for him. Kumazala. Although now we're going to something that's maybe a little bit more pressing and tackling and... Well, I mean, the other one wasn't bad either, so we'll see what happens here. I say I just, I just don't have any faith in this formation at the moment. We haven't been getting our butts kicked with it. We're just not winning. Not the way I think we should be. But that's been all season. It seems to me we're just underperforming this season. Uh, you know, we've overperformed before, but matches that I think we should have won easily that we've lost, you know, or, or barely just squeaked through. Um, let's throw out a demand more. Um, Guy 10, though, uh, Pusin has been playing well. So at least we got that going for us. Dessinger takes that one away. At least he's a little bit aggressive. Gets it up to Coley. Coley's going to beat his man to it. He's got people rushing in. What's he going to do? He holds it up. Tries to, I don't know who he was going to. But Ritz is there. Oh, <laughs> Ritz just about got lucky with another one. Puts it off the crossbar. They clear it out for a throw in. 10 shots. 
Four on target. Possession now is dropping. Um, we're not doing as well with this. I'm going to go positive. Get creative. We're inspired. <sighs> Nothing. I mean, I'll take a draw, considering the team it's against. Um, a draw is about as good as we expect. Stuttgart killed Gruther Firth. 4-3 in the Heidenheim uh, Dynamo Dry, uh, Dresden match. Hopefully this is just the final in-game deal here. Man, their, their wingers just absolutely crushed ours. The tackling was just obscene out there on the right. And that was with us trying to go run up through the center. Dressing room. Um, no, I'm going to say I'm disappointed. Uh, can I not say I'm disappointed? I'm not happy. Yeah, I think they get it. I, really, it looks like uh, Pusin kept us in this one. Um, that 7-1 is just from a lucky goal. And that's that. Um, this is Aldi. Again, so we'll see how he does up in that role. Um, Schedule-wise, let's talk about that. Um, I honestly don't remember the last match. What did we play? Was it just the Dortmund match? No, we didn't watch that one. Well, let's just start here. One goal. One nil against Gruther Firth. Nils Peterson got the goal. Fortuna Dusseldorf, we lost one nil, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, they're a pretty good team, and we didn't play terribly, especially on the back end. Again, we just didn't push it at all. We didn't get anything going. Uh, Arminia um, Bilefield, 4-1. Like, like, we had a nice little run here where we had a couple just spectacular goals, and you can see Elhaj Kali got off the goal. He'd gone six matches without a goal. Excuse me. And all of a sudden breaks out two. Dessinger got one. We got an own goal. Uh, it was mostly in the second half. You can see we got one. They got one in the first half. And in the second half, we just broke out. Uh, and against Stuttgart, again, another brace for El Hajj. Um, and Nils Peterson got one as well. It was great. 3-1. Super happy with it. And then we went into the friendlies. Um, and they were friendlies. <laughs> And we came out and we lost 1-0 to Dormstadt and just didn't look like we'd do anything. Look, lots of all the 6-3s because all our strikers in there. Just did absolutely nothing. Um, and then we managed to squeak a win against 17th place Paderborn. One goal, and even that was a special team or a, a set piece goal from Heffley. And, and now an equally mundane, boring match here that we've done absolutely nothing for. So... Like I say, the, the board might be okay with us, but I don't have any huge confidence that we're going to get promoted this season. And um, I'm not a fan of how we've been playing. We're not terrible. Like I say, we're still in third place. Um, Freiburg's not going to catch... Well, Freiburg could catch us. If they have a big win, they could buy, They could jump us. Um, we still do have a goal differential on them. But, uh, but, I mean, we're pretty solidly playing in this area. We're just not, we're just not making it our own, and I really wish we were. Um, now, we're just supposed to finish top half as all the team's looking for. Um, so we're not in any danger of getting fired or anything. But I just really thought we were going to be good enough to jump back up again. Uh, we're going to have some good potential, some youngsters on the team next season. That might help. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know. Like I say, it's it's not a bad season. I, I mean, I would say that it's a solid season. If we we end where we end in the third, you have to consider that a success. Um, especially if we can sell Mueller in the off season, sign some of our underpaid players to just slightly more money, um, and maybe add one or two more potential players in the off season. I think we're in really good shape going forward. Um, just like, uh, Compoditas, um, says, but I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. So. Oh, well. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying this one. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.